Hello everybody, or nobody, Pants is here. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm so warm today, I've actually got my wee fan on for the first time in ages. Wait, why is this? There we go. Can people hear the game? Because the last time it was mute, I don't know why. Wrong setting or something. Check them out. That's fine, I can hear it, I can hear it. Oh. Right, wait a minute. <clears throat> this bloody blue light's making me look like I've never seen the sun before in my life, which is partially true. Um, projector, no. Do you have regrets? Should we have chosen differently? Theodore me? Shepherds are ten a penny. How many floras have to die before they change? Revenge is bitter, and there's no justice. Not for us. I've no idea how that must feel. I'm sorry. I know you Why are. It's so bright in here. That Come on, let's kill some wolves. Oh well. <clears throat> right. Um. 
So it's basically just these green missions I want to do because that gives us power. I still got quite a lot of the um, skills to level up. Before we go back and face the big bad poltergeist bitch. Um, what's this? Too many wolves. Let's just do that, it's closest. Stop the invasion of revenant wolves. Find the source of the revenant wolves. Done this up there. Maybe. How did I get up there? Here. I think. Honestly, so terrible with directions. Down here. And then up. Soon I should be able to get up and down. Ah, there we go. Duh. Right, so straightforward basically. Should be the wolves, I think. here somewhere. <clears throat> Where has the fucking wolves? Wait, is that howling? Aha! Must be more of them. If I've st what is that? Find the source of the revenant wolves. Is this not a source? So maybe another cave somewhere? Oh wait, there's a wall. Hang on, hang on, hang on. wasn't the source. <clears throat> Could be anywhere in this fucking circle, right? Maybe if I go up. In fact. Hmm. 
Right, this must be like the boundary of the circle, kinda. Picking up something spectral nearby. Where? Oh, that's... Is that a hole? No. Come out, come out, wherever you are. These Is that the are alive for now? The source oh, yeah. isn't here. Is this the cave I was just in? No, this is different. Oh, could be down here. <clears throat> No! Where'd the other one go? He's going into a body. There he is. Fuck. Poison. Foxglove and wolf's bane. Hunters, maybe? If it was, they didn't know the spectres would bring their dead wolves back. What is that meat? Poisoned meat. Destroy the poison food. Destroy the poison food. The settlers should be safe for a while. Are you feeling better? Not really. Um, right, so let's pick another haunting. A couple. So where is the nearest fire? Nowhere. I suppose I can keep running this way. Down here? Is it just me or? I felt it too. Felt what? This. A dead body. I jump down. I 
I think this should take us back to the village. Yep. Gonna have to run all the way. Well, we'll get our steps in for the day, that's for sure. been over here yet because this quest's in the um, fog. Hey Bal. Right, so if I just keep running this way. <laughs> this way. I can't get up that way. What were you mm. so How the hell am I meant to get up there? How are you, Bal? You alright? That's what I hate about this game, you can't just jump off ledges, you've got to find sp way. Oh.
better be taking me the right way. I hate caves. Nope, it's not. Jesus Christ. Hello? Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? One minute. Hello? Yeah, my mic is coming through. Just nobody's talking to me. A star. Right, hopefully this takes me to where I'm trying to get to. Spent the last bloody ten minutes. Yes. Oh. Picking up something spectral nearby. I feel a draft. From the invisible. Well, we can find it later. Histrionic ghost. Haven't had one of those in a while. Rebecca Hardgrave was quite the histrion. Oh, oh. Right. Sinner. Bly Estate. Ooh, is this fancy? Well, not really, but... <clears throat> That's it. Five bits of copper. He killed me. He killed me! Yes, yes, we saw you. We'll get right on it. Who killed you? If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lost the epistle of John, I believe. Chapter 1. Verses 8 and 9. You know your Bible. Some. Red McRaith, Banisher. We can talk scripture if you like. John Rumble. Oh, not really in the mood to talk, sir. Is anything the matter? Perhaps I may be of service. I don't need anything from the likes of you. A ghost screams bloody murder, yet he needs no help. 
Forgive me if I'm being nosy, but have you recently suffered a bereavement? I, I don't know what you've heard, but you keep your oar out of my boat. What would I have heard exactly? Don't mock me. I know what they say about me. I know what you all say. My dear, beloved wife is gone. <clears throat> Abigail is gone. That's all you need to know. It was an accident, a terrible accident. I'll speak of it no more. For someone who just lost his wife, he's awfully nonchalant. An accident? How did she die? She fell. She went to the cliff top and slipped and did not survive the fall. Now, leave me be. <clears throat> well, she seems to think you killed her. He's shutting down. We need a lever to prise him open. Um, find the what? cliff where she died and search the barn and search the home. So... Will you steal your flowers? Sorry, but... They help in my rituals. I need to stop at some point. Here would be alright. Oh. Do have any points? So I have got some points. Right. So... Damage taken is reduced by 25% while an enemy is affected by ensnare. Snare duration is increased by 2 seconds. That could be handy for those stupid fucking puzzles. some of the new ones. I'll just go for the... Right. There we go. Steal your money, is this another Bible? Yeah. Bollocks. What is this? Search the house and the barn, right? That's obviously... This the barn? Oh! Words from the past linger here. Part of the story is waiting to be revealed. I raise for now the veil of shadows. Will you stop walking away from me each time we are to converse? This is not conversation, Abigail. We do not converse. Not no more. You berate me, you belittle me, Abigail. Aye. I walk away. You don't care. You don't care about me. You don't care about our life together. I gave it all up to follow you to this godforsaken place and you don't care if we belong. We are trapped here! I could die and you'd not blink That's an eye. That's right! I don't care! I don't care about none of it! Why don't you just troop off and kill yourself and give me some goddamn peace? <laughs> oh. 
Not a very nice man, turns out. The resentment between these two ran deep. The harsh price to pay for forgetting who you are. So I'm taking she did just go and jump off a cliff. My dearest Abigail, I think of the day we first met in Selby. Of that moment our eyes met and I knew, there and then, that I had found the person I was going to spend the rest of my life with. That you accepted me as the most beautiful thing that has happened in my life. And I know the rest of it will be even more beautiful. I can live together with you or not at all. Ever thine, ever mine, ever ours, John. You fucking right. Well, basically, he liked her. Very and this much happened. Once. Well, no. That changed. Appearing in person, John Rumble, son of Al Alden Rumble and Blythe Rumble, near Leighton, living in Osbaldwick, and Abigail Walker, daughter of Odell Walker, near late Rachel Walker, born Moors, living in Osbaldwick, in which John Rumble and Abigail Walker, in their will, have observed and signed a community agreement of obligations and associations that follow. John Rumble agrees to take as spouse Abigail Walker. Or so is this just like a marriage certificate? According to the custom of the community of Osbaldwick, York, arriving the, the dissolution of the marriage by death, the future wife will have the choice to stay or leave the community. Hmm. Contract. Abigail's clothes already packed. Everyone grieves differently. I know. Search the house. Is he going to be in the house? My dear John, despair not, Satan tempts us, it is true, but our Lord has created no sin that we cannot surpass. Marriage can be difficult, but we should not forget to surrender our hearts to God. He is with us. He, all, he is always with us. I want to reassure you, these unspeakable sinful dreams you speak of, these impure thoughts are not that serious. You, felt, you feel guilt, and that is most important. Our Lord made us weak, it is our nature. You must pray and listen to him. He will answer you like he always do. And as a friend, I would like to tell you I am sure this, that sooner or later you and your wife will lay together again. Or, and I know you will not hear of it, you will divorce. We are his lambs and he guides us through our temptations. Fairfax Haskell. His wife Abigail had turned her back on him in the bedroom. And not in a good way. That's not the Puritan way. But why feel guilty if her death was an accident? He should feel guilty. He treated her like shit. Poor man wasn't able to get his end away. Um, this agreement made to exchange the price of the journey from York, England to New Eden for five years work under Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin Bly. <clears throat> Key used by servants at the Bly Manor. An old key. Convenient. With luck, it'll fit a door at Bly Manor. Spectral stains about the bed. Hence John's unspeakable dreams. Oh. Do not deprive one another. A letter speaking of unspeakable dreams. Scriptures about marital relations. I think we have a lead. Right, so let's find the cliff. 
We should talk to John about his lovely marriage. Must be this way to get up the cliff. No? There is some blood. We must find a way down. Down? Came too far. Let's try in here. This will be the cliff John mentioned. Watch your step. So she's jumped off here? Jesus. What do we have here? A safe haven. Shelter from... Looks like she fell from here. We should go down, inspect the place. My god, she probably hit that tree as well. My heart sinks when I look at him, and I can't help but wonder, do I still love him? I'm burdened and ashamed and guilty because I don't love him. And yet I do. I don't care that we are childless. I don't care that we are poor. It was always the two of us. That was our promise to each other. Is something talking to her? Abigail wasn't alone. Who was with her? I wonder what they were saying. Perhaps we'll find answers at the bottom of the cliff. Abigail, I recently met someone. Things are going from bad to worse with John and I can't stand being alone with him. So in these times of doubt, it's good to have someone to support me. She understands how I feel, my pain and my anger, and she doesn't judge me. She listens to me. That makes me feel good. I wonder if it was a ghost? Do you see anywhere that could help? Keep searching here. There's one, two, there's always three, and that other vine looks like it goes away up 
into that cave? How am I supposed to get up there? I mean the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. Honestly, hate these puzzles so much. Right, I think I've maybe came down here too early. Let me have a look. I must need to break that wall or something. And there it is. Wait, can I shoot that from here? One, two, three. I don't know if it's gonna reach. Okay, let's try. Time that never bloody happens. This must be what Abigail fell. Think you could take on a ghost? Why is there so much, like, green mist? Voices from the past. Waiting to be heard. Came to New Eden. He is a failure of a man. He puts you down to raise himself up. Don't be his weakling, Abby. Act. Oof. Ah, uh, the other side of the conversation. Those mirrors feel like ghost ties, but I don't think they are. There's an inscription. Ethel Bly. There may be answers at Bly Manor. I wonder who Abigail was talking to. She sounded devious. She did. Who benefits from belittling a servant? Lover? Jealous friend? Something worse? Can I get up here quicker? Uh, this way? Yeah. <clears throat> right, so back to the manor. No! Is it? It was this way, wasn't it? Oh, 
ask John about his wife. Where is he? There he is. What do you want? It's one thing to argue with your wife. It's another to push her over the edge. Abigail was in distress. Yet all you could offer in loving kindness was to tell her to kill herself. Abigail had an accident. A terrible accident. I love my wife. I loved her. The man doth protest too much, methinks. Mm -hmm. Does this mirror mean anything to you? <laughs> Never thought I'd see that again. That was Abigail's. Where did you find it? At the cliff, where she died. I see. Any idea where she got it? Looks old. Heirloom, maybe. She found it in the woods. Kept it with her. I remember it because... We fought about it that night. We were low on money and I wished to sell it. She would not have it. Her vanity got the better of her. Is he lying? I can't tell. The inscription on the mirror suggests it once belonged to your old employers. I don't know anything more. Abigail said she found the mirror in the woods. I had no cause to doubt her. I swear it. He argued with Abigail. Threats were made. Fair to say your marriage was troubled, yes? Not your business, that's fair to say. Step carefully, keep him talking. Do you have children? No, sir, we do not. But we were just as happy on our own. We made the choice together. A long time ago. Then things changed. Abigail changed. She... soured. Maybe she soured on you. You're a man of faith. Aren't you? I too have recently lost someone. <laughs> Does prayer help? One can only have faith in God's plan. Prayer soothes only what can be soothed. And only for a little while. Still, it helps. I told Abigail the same. Perhaps if she'd heard it from someone else, she'd have listened. Tell me more about Abigail. God gave her more wits than most, but she wasn't shy about it. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes, I tell her. She had too much passion. She dwelt in earthly desires. And that's a problem how? When she stopped attending worship, I knew she was lost. I feel the same. Thank you for your time, John. Lord bless and keep you. I find John's opinion of Abigail condescending. All he does is blame her, never questions his own behavior. What? Huh? He's a man who lost control and can't admit it. Of course he blames her. He's an ass. <laughs> you should not be here. Oh? He's going to get away with it. At last you're here. You speak. I speak and I follow. I needed to be sure you'd take my side. You don't seem surprised to see me. We all have ghosts. A banisher is no exception. We found pieces of a mirror that used to belong to you. Give them to John. By rights, the mirror is his. You hate John, but you want him to have your things. Isn't that just a little contradictory? You're a ghost haunting a banisher. Isn't that just a little contradictory? <laughs> I died at the bottom of that cliff, you know. I was alone. For hours. In agony. 
No one missed me. No one came. John did not come. I thought John was the one who pushed you. Didn't he? Even before my death, he packed my bags. He wanted me out. I did not know how badly his hatred burned. But when he saw me dead, I saw it in his face. Behind the shock, he was relieved. Who found your body? Who told John about your fall? I don't recall, but does it matter? One moment I was alive and lost in thought, the next I was dead and bound to John. And to him, my death felt... Good. The deepest comfort. Solace most profound. I felt those feelings. But those feelings were not mine. You're a capable woman. Were, as were you. So how did you allow a man to bind you to this realm? You first. <laughs> I am not bound here by the weakness of a man who cannot let me go. She's probably after revenge. What happened to you, Abigail? What do you think happened? We're asking the questions here. Are you? I fell off a fucking cliff. <laughs> so, what happened to you, Abigail? A man happened to me. A bitter, pitiful world happened to me. I had a life in Yorkshire. Work I loved. I never wanted to come here. That doesn't entirely answer the question. How was it for you? To die, I mean. I'm not discussing this with you. Betrayed. Again. Failed. Again. Making excuses for the one you love. Again. What? No. And how did it feel to be deceived by your best friend? By your first love? Enough. What's with the hide-and-go-seek? Why manifest now? I'm stronger now. Stronger? How? Oh. What's your reckoning, Banisher? I reckon you've infected John's dreams. You plague him with horrible visions. <laughs> John's sinful thoughts are his own. He did not need me to die to have them. Don't indulge it, Red. Right. We aren't going anywhere. We'll keep digging. Yes. Do that. That was odd. She was odd. A dead woman with a shite bag husband. Nothing odd about it. <laughs> she you never miss husband. a chance to drag the husbands down, do you? Um. Excuse me? I... Let's just Whoa. Move on. Yes. Let's. They never learn, do they? Any ghost jizz for me to collect? Tata, one piece. Oh well. Bly Estate. This must be where the Rumbles used to work. Another haunted house. It's only good. It's covered in ghosts. This is locked stuff. on the other side.
in here one of those stupid plants. The boot. Antea, what did Abigail mean when she talked about you being betrayed by the first person you loved? Nothing. I feel like nothing. I don't want to talk about it, Rory. One, two. Surprise, bloody surprise. This is locked from the inside. Three. One, two, three. How do I get to the big one now? Is that it? What? I'm guessing that... Oh, is this the big one? Maybe. Where's the other one? Oh no! Right, one, two, this is a big one. No, it's not. Oh, that's the big one. Once I bruise the heart, destroy the wisps within its roots. Wait, so there's another one? Wait a minute. There's the heart, so there's one. Right, so obviously I need to do the other one first. Wait, wait so that's one here. One. This one's root. So there's one. Two. Is this one we've got two roots? Don't want a garden. Right, and then so one, two. So just two on this one. Maybe. I think so. Sharp shooter. Use the practice. 
Right, so that should be all the routes. Alright, so let's have a look around. Floating candles. Another one? What the fuck? Is it just two? Ah. No, I didn't wish fancy my own garden. Trust me, you don't want a garden. I look down here. Some of these cases take quite a while to solve. Although the last stream I managed to do like four or something, they were quite sh short. So there's one, two, not just two. More corrupted ivy waiting to be plucked out. prefer the ones that have just got two rather than three. Oh no, this is a void thing. I'm not going through that just yet. It brings you out at some weird random location. not the mansion investigated. Back up. Here we go. Another insight. Right, so is that all that was down here? The dark walls of her godforsaken house dripped with the blood of the innocent. A few weeks after I recruited these men to excavate a new room below the manor, a thundering collapse made them prisoners of their work. Most of them died that moment, but one but one of screamed for hours while we tried to free him. The stone after stone he ran out of breath, and we did not reach him before it was too late. 
I ordered for the room to be walled. I had to do it for everyone's safety. The stench of death surrounds this place as I sometimes hear the same desperate scratchings on the walls I used to call, calling me a murderer as if it was my fault. Baby. I can still hear one of those fucking plants. I pictured John dead. I open my eyes on my feet beside the bed where I should be sleeping. What is happening to me? Please God help me. Hmm. Now this door needs another key. For fuck's Traces sake. Traces of ghost's memory resonate. <laughs> Somebody else jump. Doors blocked on the other side. Well, this door needs another key. A bunch of keys belonging to the owners of the Bly estate. Maybe this key will open the way. That's what I was looking for. Benjamin's letter. Lately I am darkly angry with Ethel. I am nonplussed and not a little fearful. The business struggles and there is trouble in the mines, but I have not reason to be fixed. So with my darling wife. My grandfather was a violent man especially to my grandmother, and I swore I would not let my familial characteristics get the better of me. But the blood demons have found their way into my head. I must not turn from righteousness. I must send the devil away and banish from my heart his sins. Kind of sounds like you pushed her off the balcony. The keys don't work on that one. Worked on this one. The imprint in the velvet is shaped like our mirror. Should we take a glimpse at the past? Why not? Point passes an infinity of paths. Revealio. I don't need you no more. What are you doing? <laughs> Foolish girl. Please, no. Please don't hurt him. No! Whatever's in this mirror is neither ghost nor spectre. Where is Abigail? Abigail has left us, my dears. So she's been pretending to be Abigail talking to us, the bitch. By what name should we know you? Always that same question. And you know better than to ask it, Antea Duarte. I don't need a name to send the likes of you back from whence you came. I've done it before. 
How does she know your name? It's not Abigail. It's a... Well, some would call it a demon. A bloody pest is what it is. You call us demons, but from where we watch in the great below, we are angels. You poor, transparent, knowable you are upside down. <laughs> Abigail tried to smash the mirror. She tried to break your hold on her. What happened to her? Are you a happy man, Red Rury McGraith? Answer the question. Do you feel hollow? I'm what would you more? do to once again feel her touch? To feel her finger trace lines upon your cheek? What do you want here? Do you feel guilty for leaving your family behind? Was it worth their sacrifice? Are you ashamed? Do you want to hear it from Aoife's mouth? Your sister can't be far. I... no. Abigail wanted to protect John. To the end, she wanted you gone. Abigail made her choice, but she lacked the strength to live with it. Not ghost, not spectre. What are you? I am I, the bringer from beyond the gates. Yes, yes, we know all about the void. No, you do not. But you will. You will know the void inside out, and you'll know nothing else. You target couples. You nest inside their hearts and plant the seed of resentment there and grow it until it flowers and destroys them. We felt you in our hearts too. You came to me. You all come to me. When all you have lost becomes too much to bear. Tell me, little girl, how does it feel to watch the world make ready to pass you by? Ignore it, Antea. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Poor, transparent, knowable you. What have you done with Abigail? She's here, in a way. I am the pool, deep and dark. She is the ripple that spreads and dies away, returning to the whole, a thing no longer. You're possessing her? Huh? We are friends. Such good friends. No, you're a lie. Vapor in the darkness. Really? When you sit beneath a tree alone with no one to talk to, no one to play with, how easy it is to lose yourself. You know nothing about me. Do not answer, Antea. You said it yourself. We shouldn't engage with it. I know what I said, and I know what I'm doing. Get on with it, then. You're the banisher now. You get on with it. Right. That's enough. Let's get this over with. Let's. Oh, get back here. I hate when they do that. Oh, she's an evil one, isn't she? One. 
Worry no more. I'm here. We need to end this. There's another one. There. Trying my best over here. Where is she? Here? That's enough, Abigail. Step away from him. What will you do? Banish me? Banish poor, sweet, innocent Abigail. Send us both into the darkness. You know well enough, Antea, my child. There is no ascent for Abigail now. There's no escape from the likes of me. Unless I grant it. I offer you a trade. A bargain. Abigail's ghost for John. Give John his due, and Abigail is free. Bang! John Rumble, a man of healthy appetite who says he loved his wife. When Abigail rejected you, he resented it. You took your anger out on her. I just wanted my Abigail back. Dedicated and devoted as she used to be. The Lord be my witness. I failed to love her as she was, but I am no murderer. In her misery, she was easy prey for the malignant spirit who now toys with you both. For those failings, you shall take the blame. Playtime is over. Yes! Abigail is free! No, send my masters one more soul for the feast! Do it! Not this one, demon. This one is ours. What's this? You'd steal my prize! We had a deal. All the more reason to hate you, Antea Duarte. All the more reason to wait for you. Prepare yourself, John. You too will be judged, Red McCraith. You too will be weighed and measured. I... I know. John. The demon is gone. My husband too. At last. The thing wasn't lying. I kept her word. I hope it's not another trick. <clears throat> right, so we can go down into the basement now and um, do that void thing.
because I know it spits you out randomly anywhere, so at least that's that mission done, so it doesn't matter where we pop out on the other side. A hundred years from now, that mirror will still be cursed, unless we destroy it. Where should we start? Maybe a witch could help. First we do the void. That's a void breach, all right. Should we jump in? Right, just keep running. Never learn, do they? Whoa! Quicken yourself! This. It's coming for you. I hate these fucking blue ones. Away with you. Ooh. on a ghost. What's with all these alphas? to find something else. What? What do you mean we need to find something else? Hmm. Cannot work this one out. Hmm. 
Well, maybe it's this one we go to then. There is a path once I clear the way. That was a big one. Who the fuck is Guthrie? We'll get back up. Joffrey remained the embodiment of self-love. Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Wait, where's the other pillar? Where 
push the other pillar. Up here, maybe? We can't get through here. I need your help to find those damn pillars. There it is. Was fun. It brought us out, I wonder. What does this do? Damage dealt by Red and Antia is increased by 20%, but spirit point gain. No thanks. All these things are like give and take, and it's just. I can hear one of those spirit things. Where is it? Hello? I think it gets louder as I come over here. There is. Right, where did that bring us? Actually, not too far from the mansion. Where do we need to go now? Are there any more hauntings? Oh, there's a few over here, actually. So. Let's go to the nearest campfire. It'll be easier. This, this. Okay. Maybe. No, it's underground. Let's go here. Back to Fort Jericho. See Seeker actually. Find out what that demon was that was haunting it. Uh. 
Um, I want a little fire. Yep, it's up here. But let's see if we can find Seeker on the map once I've... I think I've got a couple of upgrades, maybe. Yep. Got a green and a red one. Cost of punch attacks during fusion is reduced by 50%. Defeating an enemy affected by ensnare. I like this one. Uh, we've got a red one. Rifle shots deal an area of physical damage. Yeah, let's go for that one. Right, let's see if we can find our mission on the map. Is this it? Ask Seeker. Yep, so we'll go here. Excellente. Saves me run all the bloody way. Right. So Seeker was... This way? No. This way? She was... Ah! What the fuck? Oh my god! Ugh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. oh my god, what the fuck that just happened to me? I felt like somebody just stabbed me in the shoulder blade. That was so f it's How did that happen? Somebody got a voodoo doll in me or something? Oh, fucking hell. Whoever's got the voodoo doll, put it away, please. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Mm, Jesus. Oh, dear, dear, dear. How are you, Koja? Fucking Christ. Oh yeah, so you've just got the two days left, haven't you? So what, this will be the fifth? Is this the sixth today? And then tomorrow's the seventh. Oh. That was so weird. Like, what a stupid place to get such a pain. Honestly, it felt like somebody stabbed me in the back. Oh my god. Oh. Right, 
Right, so I've just went the completely wrong fucking way, I think. Oh, it's... Oh, it's Seeker back here? I don't know if that would work, actually. If it would count. Maybe we can ask Seeker about the Rumble's mirror. Clever. Where is she? There she is. What do you want? More to the point. What do you need? Seeker. Milady. Um, we found a cursed item. We found a cursed object. Did you use Fear God's ritual on it? This curse seems different. Stronger, somehow. We were hoping you could help. A curse could mean different things, depending. What do you think happened? An entity took over a woman's ghost, or perhaps mimicked her so to torture her grieving husband. The mirror had belonged to a couple who died, violently. Red and I both felt its... influence. What became of the husband? He didn't make it. Chalk one up to the cursed mirror then. What could the entity be? What could the entity be? We've linked it to the void. It was sharp, perceptive, highly manipulative. It came from the void. Who cares what it is? Don't trifle with it. Send the bloody thing back. What should we do with it? What do you think we should do with it? Three possibilities come to mind. Hair from someone who's escaped this entity's grasp. You're going to make your Soil own guild from the roots through which it crawled four. out of the void. And the roots from a tree that has seen 5,000 moons. None is powerful enough by itself, but all three things combined shall serve the trick. <sighs> you know this place better than we do. So where to find such a tree? In the dark woods stands a great and crooked tree. It's surely the oldest living thing in the whole of New Eden. I'd go there. The void? Again? Funny thing. The closer to the breach the soil lay, the more likely your ritual is to succeed. Here? <sighs> As in... all of it? If you don't wish to scalp its owner, a lock should suffice. <laughs> Scott, oh, that's owner. good news. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> oh dear. Do you know Lammy Haskell? What can you tell me about him? I remember him well. A strange little boy. Quiet. Right, though. Not like his father in either respect. You remember him better than you remember the others. Yeah, well... You notice the strange kids when you're a strange kid yourself. What are you saying? Anything interesting you'd trade with a banisher? Say for yourself. Oh, I've no money. I, th I thought I had loads. Oh well. We're skin. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. Oh. Sure. Right, I'll be right back. I'm going to get another um, beverage. And to take this knife out my back.
Right, I am back. When are you streaming code, John? I'll leave it open in a tab for you. So where did I get all this shit? Half an hour. Just let me know then. Eat and shower. Right, so there's what part of it? Dill, I think. Have I to get dill? Retrieve soil from the nearest void. I'm not bothered, you're the only person watching, I think. Ready to cross that breach? No. I'm trying to. Where the fuck am I meant to get all this stuff? Exorcism. This. It's not that one. Well, let's just use the fire and teleport somewhere. Daily quests in the top. Let's just go here. That's underground. Fucking tricking me with that again. Just go under. Why is it all underground? We'll go here. For the harrows. Oh. Still, still, <coughs> right, let's just head towards that then. Hope it's the right bloody mission. Oh dear.
Running forward, basically. Something lingers here that did not before. We're not alone. Tainted love. I don't even think this is the right thing that I'm doing. I'm meant to be doing this exorcist thing. Aim for the heart. I'll destroy the roots. Are the roots? The other one. I think it's just two. Nope, there's three. Where's the other one? There's one. Sure, I got them. There's only two, I think. Well. Where's the other one? Oh, over here, you little fucker. Jesus, right. More corrupted ivy waiting to be plucked out. Well, fuck that one up. Come <laughs> on. 
should be pleased. I'm sure she will, especially coming from you. Huh? We're gonna deliver the dill. Who wants the dill? Here, Jesus Christ. Alright, so if I just run back to this fire, where the hell am I now? Here. I've never been to this bit of the map before. things under here. I don't know if I'll be able to reach it from here now. Before though. Right. Fast travel. All the way. Here. Oh, she's at the back. You don't have back door? Does the day find you well, Madam Doctor? As well as it can, Mr. McGraith. And I have a banisher to thank for it. You're welcome. Let's not make a habit of it. My word before God on it. Lucy Barrow had dill in her garden. I brought you some. Oh, and to think I once thought you useless. <laughs> you flatter me, Madam Doctor. <coughs> you thought me useless. I did. Now, I must get back to work. 
And so must you. If we design, I should go. I'll wish you luck. If you believe in it. What did I get? Just XP. Motherfucker! Right, where's the fucking mission that we were meant to with this haunted mirror? It's not on the map. Anyway, there's like three hauntings here. Let's just go there. These are just XP. I need um, the <coughs> essence to make Antea stronger, so I'm better doing hauntings. to travel to the haunted places. Not going underground, that can fuck off. This is underground. There we go. Pardonnez moi. Right. <clears throat> right, if this is back on my fucking screen, this exorcism quest, where do I find all the stuff for it? It's not that. Or this. Where the hell am I meant to find the big tree and all that shizen? Let's just do a haunting case. <clears throat> Let's just do a haunting. Since it's up the way. Someone is here. Someone is vexed behind that door. Hello?
It's gonna rob you, don't mind me. Oh yeah, look at all the ghost smoke. Summit's not right here. <clears throat> Hallowed be thy name, Marcy. Our beloved angel, heaven sent. <clears throat> I'm busy. What do you want? Everybody's so rude in this son. fucking game. What do you want, McCray? What happened to your hands, you? An angel came down from heaven and gave me the mark of the Lord Jesus. We may talk about his good word, if you wish to hear it. Stigmata? That's surprisingly Catholic. I'll assume you did not mean that slander, but be warned, I'll not take it again. Tell me about this angel. How did you meet? The angel is my sister, and she bears the mark of the Lord. Marcy wandered in the wilderness for many days and nights, and then one day she returned to lead her people to salvation. He's haunted by a ghost, but thinks she's an angel. I hope you're taking note, Red McGrath. <laughs> oh. Speaking from personal experience, she's likely not an angel. She's probably a ghost. Oh, thou of little faith. I have not yet met God, but I do not question his existence. Perhaps I should envy her certainty. you're a fanatic. If you are blessed enough to meet my sister, then you'll change your mind. I'd like that. Where can I find her? Near the old mill, hidden at the end of Long Beach, is a cave. Our In another cave. Place. <clears throat> she will be there. They never could find her body. But she is still there. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. <laughs> Fuck you, then. I'm gonna take all your shit. I think our move to New Eden was a good thing. In Boston, Marcy was not appreciated. She was even rejected. These people don't understand anything. <clears throat> Either new life awaits us, and the people of this small town seem more godly than our follower and former neighbours. I am sure that Marcy will be listened to. Oh, fucking hell. In the first months in Eden went well, Marcy integrated rather well, people will speak to her and even if they are sometimes a little confused by her words, they do not judge. <clears throat> so it seems like she goes about probably speaking in tongues or like preaching God like she's some sort of like messenger or something. I'm guessing that's why everybody thought she was weird. Primer. Looks new. Looks local. There might be a way to open this door from the other side. If Hugh puts his faith in his sister's ghost, he's a fool. Ooh. He's looking to his faith to give him answers. But he's looking in the wrong place. Right, so we are for some reason not on the quest. Where is she? Where are we going?
This way. I think. She's in a cave somewhere. Another fucking cave. Old mill. Wait. Oh, oh it's this way. <clears throat> bada bing, bada boom. Oh, a ghost? Ghosties? Excuse me? Oh, well, it didn't count. I'm just gonna do it again. In case you didn't notice, Antea, it was you that was fighting, you silly bitch. Oh, I think this is this one that can be done over and over again. I might try it again and see if I get any... Um at this unveil yourself i'm right here you know right Antia. jesus christ somebody's in a fighting mood today Spectacular miss that was. They brought more friends. Sneaky, sneaky. Think you could take on a ghost? be one of these other guys somewhere.
Thanks on for size. Nice. That nest so I need quite a lot of that, I think, to start upgrading my gear. I actually need. Oh. Uh, so to upgrade this, I need three nest silts. And that'll be that fully upgraded. So I could do a, like another one. They get harder every time, I think. Plenty of stuff to summon them. So I'll do this. Do it one more time and then I'll go and do this quest and I'll probably come back and I spectacular miss yet again. Standing by. on a go. Miss him. Ask for help if you need it. <clears throat> right, so I've got another nest silt. Right, so I'll pick up all this ghost jizz. <clears throat> um, th find this mill and then I'll do another one. Then that should let me upgrade my. Uh... Or in fact, you know, there's a. I'm just going to do it now because there's a campfire literally at the exact same spot as this quest. So I could upgrade it while I'm at the quest. Now step <clears throat> from the shadows. It may take me like a minute or so. This isn't over yet. Sight. Oh. 
This isn't over yet. Oh, there's a little guy up here. Fucking missed. There's more of them. Another insight. Time for me to shine. Little fucker. So now I should be able to upgrade my um, my um, armor. Was all right. <clears throat> yeah, I could definitely feel them getting hard. It gets harder every time you summon them. So. Fire's fucking miles away. I thought it was the same place as this. Oh well. We can upgrade when we get back to the village. delusional. It's been a ghost causing you to have temporary memory loss. Fungi, waxy cat. So she's... Oh, siblings. Feeling guilty about Naomi Day and Temi. <laughs> On principle, I refuse to feel guilty. Yes, I feel guilty. I should have made the journey. I should have gone to see them. Time flies. Oh, how it has flown. Is that the only, um... witch's... totem? Something's here. Hidden. Wards. Think you can fend for yourself? Where? The short one. There's one here somewhere. What is lurking here? Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Oh, there it is. Much better. Wait, wait, wait. 
this, I think this is another bit of the map that I've never been to. Find Hugh Bachelor's sacred cave. Uh, oh. You angry? Who are you? Is that the Miller? A strange wooden figurine. Oh, yeah, it's one of these dolls for they things. Not done one of them in a while, actually. Oh, we are. I think I've seen the ocean yet in this game. Don't go down. Alphas, by the way. Ask for help if you need it. Hmm. What Doesn't is all this? Ocean air just make you want to sail the open seas. I've always wondered where your love of boats came from. I definitely was a pirate in a previous life. <laughs> oh, listen to the seagulls. <laughs> what a spectacular miss. Visible. Feel a draft down your drawers. Do you know I've got a weird fascination? Like I just love being next to the water. Like I could just sit. At like a river or the ocean all night. When I used to have my um, Oculus VR. <laughs> this is so sad. Sometimes I would just sit on this virtual beach and it was so cool because it was like a desert island so you had the whole island to yourself. But like there was like little candles dotted everywhere when it turned night time. And there was like the aurora and um, there was like an upturned boat. She is definitely stronger than him. I'm right 
here, you know. You're fighting your delusional bimbo. I'm right here, you know. Right here. I am right here. Look for the cave entrance. See, this is why people die in this game, because they wander off into creepy little areas like this, never to be seen again. Like, why is a woman creeping around here? My sweet Ashlyn, as I write this letter, the fear that it might never reach you settles in my stomach. I know I may never leave the hostile shores of the New World. <clears throat> there are only a few remaining since the Greta sunk. Many are sick and wounded. The small rescue party sent by the captain to New Eden never came back and the captain has since died. His legs smelled so bad we had to rid his body into the water. We do not have strength to properly bury him. A few nights ago I think I heard howlings and whispers in the dark. Wolves? God has abandoned us. This land is cursed. Your loving fiancé, Frederick. This land is cursed. Do you know why? It's because she's all fucking killed an innocent woman and accused her of being a witch. And I think that's who she's. That's who's haunting the whole fucking place. Oh. So where do I go? Where's the, where's the cave entrance? Up there? How do I get up there? Maybe. Around here? Oh! What's that Whose bowl? clothes are these? I thought that was a witch's totem. My bad. I was just gonna say, you better not fucking come to life. Can I get in? A breather, we can do it here. What is there a campfire here? Oh, yes. I haven't even seen that on the map. Right, so I should be able to upgrade my um, my jacket now. That's that maxed out. What do I need for like this stuff? It's it's all those silk things. Yeah, look, nest silk. Gun. Nest silk. So that's like fucking six more nests. Eight plus an elite gem. Yeah, tons of nest silk. I could farm that one, but god, how fucking hard is it going to get if I've done it like 12 times? Destroy those ghost wards if you want me back. Don't you want me, don't you want me, don't you want my love? Oh, for fuck's sake. The diary of the captain of a stranded ship. October 12, 1685. I remember that year. That was a terrible year. The Greta left Plymouth on September 30th of the year 1685. I've been sailing for only two weeks, but the weather has been capricious since our departure and has not stopped tormenting us since. The waters are tumultuous and the storm never leaves us. 
This plays greatly on the morale of my men who are already tired. So literally 10 days later, um, Bedivere, our helmsman, is rather pessimistic, a little too much for my taste. However, he is a seasoned sailor with whom I have already travelled. I don't understand why he looks so desperate. He only talks to complain about the trip and says that we are heading straight for disaster. If he continues, I'll gag him in time to the main mast. <laughs> we lost the sailor Ken Kenelm today. He had been suffering from a high fever for several days. He was the youngest among us. Barely grown up, still a child. It will be up to me to tell his mother the news. I hate this part of my job. So bad weather keeps pushing the Greta to the shore. It is like the winds and the fog refuse to let us reach any safe harbour. Tonight Bedivere advised me to find shelter as soon as possible. I studied my old maps and remembered the small town of New Eden is not far from our position. I sailed there a few years ago. The colony was small but maybe we could find some help there. Tomorrow morning, despite the thick fog, I shall set a course to the small harbour and hope for the best. <clears throat> well, um, it didn't work. Did it? Where's this witch's thing? It's a big ship. I can hear something. Is it maybe out here? I see a witch's ward anywhere. You're on your own. It's outside. Round the other side of the ship. I don't think you can. There's someone around the back, that's for sure. Right, well, there's one of those things. I need Antea to get it. Oh no, I don't. Oh, there we go. I don't know where the witch's ward is though. Be around here. Hello. I can't jump over. I'm being blind, but I cannot see a ward anywhere. Stop and tail. Oh well, not our mission anyway. Guessing this is a cave up here. The veil here is as thin as in the cave where you found me. The same lonely feeling presses down. I will wait for you. Hmm.
please was please return to me I think wards I'm going to need a hand here Side, I can't oh. see anyone. Wards, think you can fend for yourself? Do you see anywhere that could help? Keep searching here. Where's the ward? Oh, there it is. The ward's power is gone. That's scary. Right, so the mission is actually here. Don't lose hope, God will pardon us. I'll pray for your mercy. Arise into thy resting place. <laughs> we don't have the same definition of a resting place. Now, my God, let, I beseech thee, thine eyes be open and thine ears be attent unto the prayer that is made. Now, therefore, arise, O Lord God, into the resting place, thou and of thy strength. Kaka. Mother was right, the Lord is inscrutable. So she was getting visions, I'm, I'm not going to read all that. I've brought stew. Tis your favourite. Bread and water too. Oh, it smells so very good. Thank you. I'm sad to disappoint, but I am fasting. As did our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Truly, you and he walk the same path. I'm so very proud of you. You batch not let his sister starve herself. He's convinced that she was chosen by God. Does she believe it too? Let's look for Marcy. Kind of gone for.
pardon me. <clears throat> well, somebody's went through the effort to put a lot of candles down here. This is old. It must predate the bachelors. Early settlers? Natives? So there's the main thing, and there is one. Two. supposed to get them all from to try and stand. So maybe shoot this one, run round here, shoot that one and that one. <clears throat> oh. I need to stay up here so we could get over the bridge. Think? No. Oh, to get over here. Oh, hey, Glenn. How are you? in your bathroom. <laughs> well, why not? It's Saturday after all. Oh. Is he delivering to you some um, fresh sticks of bamboo?
these chests. What? The? Give me a fucking fray. Saturday, 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 Saturday. I think that's the words anyway. So that was all that was here. There's <clears throat> a creepy chest. Oh, do you know what's even better though, Glenn? Saturday Night by Wigfield. I haven't heard that song in ages, Wigfield. Saturday night and the feeling's getting high. Like a baby. It's party time and not a minute we can lose. You shall not pass. What's through here? Sam Cook. I don't know if I've heard that one. Are we back in the same place? I oh, know this is different. Proctors are back from their trip to Providence. Curiously, Anton only exchanged a few words with me. He looked serious or suspicious, I couldn't say. He's usually more talkative. Something must have happened on their trip. That's Stephen. <clears throat> Last night, Ethan and Anto visited me about a strange book that Agrippa. Why are they practicing witchcraft? The merchant who had it himself from Receiver. According to them, the book contains dark secrets about immortality. They wanted me to read who? Who's Atherton? Is there a cave in New Eden that doesn't have occultists in it? Oh, hey, they mate. were looking for the devil. Marcy was looking for God. And now, an angel has taken up residence. Red, come. Wait. I found something. All right, Mike. I am. Um, I've found. I've, well, I've, I'm not saying I've found this chip shop, but there's a chip shop on the way to Aldi's. Um, about maybe ten minutes from where I live, and I just love their chips. So I ended up just getting a bag of chips for my dinner. <laughs> But you know that way it's not like the stingy chip shops that give you their chips and those cartons. They're still the old fashioned way where they just dump a huge pile on the paper and just wrap it up. A bloody knife in a dingy cave. Always a pleasure. It has something to tell us. Is this a memory one? I need I always get these wrong. Reunius fat ass der Himi. Did you just say I've got a fat ass? Oh Lord, please help me. I'm scared. 
I can't do this alone. Cut it down. Cut it down. Cut it down. deep. Well what? do I know it. I, I, take my hands. It's your duty. Take my hands and mark them so your flock may see. So they will no longer doubt you. Do it, Marcel. Do it, my darling. Grant me the strength to do my duty. Your blood is the blood of everlasting. I will speak your sainted words. They will listen and believe. Well, I don't like tacos, Glenn, so I'm biased, so um, Where did the I would recommend the chip shop. Fish and chips. Perhaps she was under the influence of a malignant spirit, like the Rumbles. There's a trail of blood. Let's follow it. Blood? Where? Oh, yeah. My uncle's actually Italian, Glenn. He owns a fish and chip shop. His name is Giuseppe. Um, ever since the cracks in the walls have appeared, spirits are restless and the rituals are becoming more and more unstable. What were they doing? Anton finally made a decision to stop her rituals until we find a safer hiding place. Ethel has asked me to continue to study the Agrippa. Oh really? It's funny that it's funny that you actually call it a chip shop because obviously Americans call chips fries, but like obviously in Britain we've got the traditional fish and chip shops. We just call them chippies, <laughs> chippies. Um, and it's like the nice chunky chips. It's not like the McDonald's French fries. So that yeah, I suppose that's why they're called chippies, chippy shops, chip shops. Somebody died performing a ritual. Well, do you know that's what happens when you dabble with black magic? Poor thing. How long has she been lying here forgotten? And how has she gone unnoticed? Perhaps the path was already blocked. I can feel her presence. You have her tie. Summon her. Uh, let's see if we get this one right. Is it this one? Make manifest? I've never heard of that, Glenn. Have you um fallach to Fuck you too. First you say I've got a fat ass, then you say fuck you. Talk to the ghost. Oh, she's up there. Right, well, I'm going to collect all this stuff in case I end up in some fight or something. And... That's the last two people that we've helped has been influenced by, like, an item. So that woman with the mirror and now her with a knife. I should have said something about the knife. Where is it? No. This tie is doused with the essence of its ghost. Oh. Good Hello? day to you, Miss Bachelor. My child, you may call me Marcy. For I am the Angel Marcy, sent to guide and protect. Are you an angel too? I see your man with you. Is it about like gangsters or not, to guide and him, to be his light in the darkness. He should be so lucky. I'm Antea Duarte, and I'm no angel. This is Red McGrath. We're banishers. 
And what have you banishers done? How far have you fallen? You stand swaddled in your guilt, ferocious in your blackened hearts. Well, let's come back to that one, shall we? Excuse me, they're just you mad. See, God speaks to me. In visions, he reveals his light. Comatins. What would you ask him? I'll get to look them What up. would you ask the Lord? Ask, and I will answer. I notice you have the mark of the Lord. Your stigmata. How did you get them? He gave them to me. He came to me, took my hands in his, bathed me in his divine light, and granted me his blessing. Lady, you're not. What is this place? It's a blessing, isn't it? Our Lord guided you here, just as he did for me. Now do we know who was God? Don't you feel it? His warmth, his goodness, his light. It's him. Why, uh, who else could it be? God called me to this blessed place that he, through me, may redeem it. This, my child, is what it means to classic be an angel. Classic 50s soundtrack. Oh, I do love me some Tell classic me about music. These visions. What do you see in them? 50s, he 60s, bade me 70s, follow 80s. His path to solve oh. for those I love, as his son did before me. I agreed, of course. <clears throat> Mustang Sally! Not exactly. I see men condemned by those sworn to protect them. Betrayal, Mistress Duarte, obscures God's light in the souls of men. My visions are warnings. New Eden is sinking. Well, I could have told you what that. What happened to you, Marcy? What happened? I opened my heart and let in the light. And do you know, it had always been there. You starved yourself. You refused your brother's food. Is that what killed you? God gave me a duty. I should sacrifice my body, as did his son, that my people may have forgiveness. I must carry the light to unbelievers, so that with it in their hearts, they may be saved by the light of the Lord. You sacrificed your body for the salvation of others. I'm sorry. I don't know how that works. Our people are plagued by evil. Darkness grips them. I've noticed. I'm sorry to tell you, in love, your sacrifice never dreams, worked. I'd watch them writhe and burn in endless flaming turmoil. I knew not what it meant, but you kindly helped me understand. In revealing to me the horror lurking in the shadows, God was showing me the goodness waiting in the light. My suffering lights the way to salvation. We're gonna have to talk to Hugh about this, aren't we? If we descend, we Frau. Must leave you. God goes with you, my child. Whether you know it or not. Wait. I feel something. Yeah, Some go and get your go get your fish and chips, My Glenn. <laughs> I'm here. You. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Oh, is the brother dead as well? Oh no, that's her. I don't think that's your brother, Marcy. It sounds demonic. No. See you later, Glenn. In a while, crocodile. Where did she go?
Mr. McRae. Can you see her now? Is she not magnificent? Is she not a blessing from the Lord High God himself? What are you doing here? I'll justify neither my comings nor my goings. You might have to, <coughs> school teacher. <coughs> Your own sister starved. How could you allow it? Would you have me oppose the will of the Lord my God? No. Never. I know it pained him to see me suffer. But my suffering was the path to my sainthood. I know you followed me. No need to deny it, just tell me why. I would go to the cave, but the devil's agents had blocked the way. I hoped the Banisher would lift their spells. Though I confess I feared you'd make it worse. Marcy had visions. She heard voices. Did you know this? Of course I knew. They scared her. God sent a trial to test me. But he also sent me a guide. My brother, sir. Did you not talk to Reverend Davenport? Or Haskell, maybe? Why would I do such a thing when the Bible is clear? In visions, God reveals himself to the chosen few. My sister is one of them. I'd known all my life that Marcy was special. Here was the Lord's own proof. You took advantage of Marcy's trust. You let her starve. No. I did not trust him. I trusted God. The Lord spoke to me. He set his mark upon me. He chose me. Stop your doubting now and gaze upon the face of an angel and glory in the work of the Lord. Behold your salvation. Let's get this over with. Hugh Bachelor, you're haunted by the ghost of your sister Marcy. But you, sir, are a dangerous fanatic. A man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject. You've had your admonitions. I reject you. You drove your own sister to her death. Allow me to return the favor. I hold fast the Lord's name and deny not my faith. Even when Marcy, his faithful martyr, was slain where Satan dwells. I hold fast. I hold fast! I hear no trumpets. I hear no trumpets. Nie, yeah, ask you didn't go to heaven. I trusted. She's up to something. With Hugh dead, Marcy can no longer feed on his essence. So why is she still here? Maybe she's more attached to him than we thought. It's time to send our angel back to heaven. Yet. 
You are no angel. She was an angel, or a fallen one. Poor Marcy. She didn't deserve that. Mm, neither her life of suffering, nor its end. She deserved a better brother. I'm not just sure. She's free now. She was a pure soul. I mean, they all are beneath the dark, but... Her shone, like a child. Well, that's her taken care of. Sisters. Eva. Mostly. If I'd had a big brother, I'd have liked him to have been like you. I haven't. I haven't visited her grave in a very long time. We could visit her together, if you wish it. I'd be honored to go with you. Something's here. I feel something close. I think this is where I'm going to end it here because I don't want to start another big quest and I need to go and get my ice machine and everything on so um, yeah thanks to everybody who came and tuned in and watched and kept me company for a little while.
Hopefully, you're sort of enjoying this game as much as I am. But yeah, I'll um, see you all in the next one. Happy Saturday. Thank <laughs> you.